Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Star Wars Force Awakens 6 inch black series First Order Snowtrooper Officer. That's right, more army builders. Bring them on. We need more troops based on these new designs from Force Awakens. So let's go ahead and check out our First Order Snowtrooper Officer. As you can see, he comes in that same style window box packaging with the bright red background and the window that fully showcases our trooper within. Rotating the box around to the backside, we have a brief description that tells us the latest generation of cold weather assault stormtroopers. Snow troopers wear advanced insulated armor and helmets that reduce the glare of the icy terrain. Very cool. So let's open them up and check them out. So personally, I've always been a big fan of the old snow trooper designs that we saw back in Empire Strikes Back. Always thought they were very, very cool looking troopers. Uh, and I gotta say, I really like the design of the new First Order troopers here as well. Uh, I think it's a really cool mix of those classic Empire Strikes Back snow troopers uh, with the new sleekness of the helmets and everything that we're seeing on the current First Order stormtroopers. So let's go ahead and start there with the helmet. It's got a really cool look to it. It's a bit bigger than the standard First Order snow uh, stormtrooper, um, and you can see it's got this really great design with a small little slit um, so very very small area that they see out of but uh, as the box says it's to help them see better from the icy glare of the uh, snow planets uh, I love the gloss with it all of the armor bits on this figure specifically the helmet are made of a very glossy white um, so they have a really great shine to them especially under lighting here that gives them a very realistic armor look I think that's fantastic You'll notice he's got the red pauldron over his uh, right shoulder there since he is one of the officers. Uh, it's really nice looking. I do have some scratches on there out of the box. You can see some black showing. So I wish the paint was a little cleaner on there, but still, that's pretty sweet. Uh, he got the nice uh, armor on his chest there over the torso, which is just like the helmet. It has a nice gloss to it. Looks like there's some sort of uh, wording on there, which is cool, and a little kind of, like panel of some sort on the front. Uh, and I also love the same kind of designs going down the arms. Look at the, uh, the little kind of panels or buttons that are on the left wrist there. There. It's very nice. And you'll notice he's kind of got that uh, tunic piece that's hanging down over the legs. Very, very much like the vintage snow troopers. I really like that. Great textures. Uh, love the details of the legs underneath there. It's a very interesting design. You can see, kind of see the insulated pants. I think that's really cool. Uh, and the overall figure is a very clean, bright, vibrant white, which is perfect since he's supposed to be a character that's running around on a snow-based planet. So overall, I really like the design of this guy. He even has a little backpack on the back too. You can see that's removable. Has a little peg, so it just plugs right in there. So very, very cool looking figure. As far as articulation goes, he does have the ball joint at the head, so it can move the head around. Uh, you'll notice it does hit that pauldron. In fact, that might be um, the source of some of the scratching on there. So definitely something to be wary of. He does have the ball like joints at the shoulders. You can see the uh, shoulder armor doesn't really get in the way. So you can move the arms upwards, forwards, backwards, swivel at the elbow, standard joint at the elbow, swivel at the wrist as well as hinge joints at the wrist. You can uh, rotate that torso as well as the waist. There are separate joints there, which is very nice. Uh, the tunic piece that he's wearing, the skirt piece, is a softer pliable plastic. It is still going to hinder the movement of the legs just a bit. You can see that's about as far as we're going to stretch the legs outwards. You can still go forwards and backwards with good uh, distance there. You got soles at the thighs. You do have uh, double joints at the knees, but the joints are really tight, at least on my figure. Like, look at this. Look at how much pressure I got to do to bend the knee, especially the upper joint. It's crazy how tight they are in this figure. Um, and then we do have the standard joints at the uh, ankles that we've seen on the other figures. The shape of the bottom of the pants is going to kind of get in the way a little bit, but not too bad. And you can still bend the feet forwards and backwards as well as rock them side to side. So you should get a pretty decent range of movement with this guy. Not quite as good as our standard Stormtrooper uh, because of some of the armor bits that he's wearing, but still uh, enough to get by. As far as included accessories, he comes with this really nice uh, Stormtrooper rifle. Very cool looking. Very similar to the one we saw with our regular First Order Stormtrooper, except it's a bit bigger. Has the scope on top. Uh, really great paint deco there that's white, black, and silver. It goes great in his right hand, since that's the one with the trigger finger. But you can also get some good two-handed poses out of it. Uh, and, of course, that's going to complete the look. We can't have a snow trooper without a blaster in his hand. So pairing this guy up with the uh, First Order Stormtrooper there, you can see the difference between the designs, but also the similarity, how they're kind of fitting together. And I really like that. And it looks really sweet teaming this guy up with the rest of your First Order, putting him in there with Captain Phasma. Ah, so cool looking. I'm definitely going to have to army build more of these. 
So there you go, my friends. There's a look at the brand new First Order Snow Trooper Officer from the 6-inch Black Series line. Really great design, really fun action figure, and this one is exclusive to Toys R Us stores. Uh, they seem to be pretty easy to get. They were hard at first, but I've seen lots of them since. Uh, but probably want to snag them while you still can, and you're going to want to army build these most likely. So get to the store now. Happy hunting, friends. And hey, guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so you never miss out on a video. Until next time, my friends.